August, day eight. Okay, advent calendars. First, I want to talk about what we got in day seven. <clears throat> Apparently, according to the Facebook group, I did this wrong. So, this is a hook, um, hook holder. I was right about that. But you see these little holes? That is for your hook. It goes upside down and fits inside like that so that the size is on the top. Now these are a bad example because these actually are very, um, these are not crochet, crochet society hooks. These are hooks I got from Amazon and they actually have the sizes on the hook. So that's not gonna work. But I have crochet society hooks right here. So as you can see, size is printed very large on the side. So let's try this. Oh, okay. What do we think? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Facebook people. I'm still gonna paint mine, I think. I don't know what color. I'm leaning towards white, which I know is very boring, but it looks very sleek and clean and all my shelving is white, so, you know. Um, but I wanted to show you something. In my Simply Crochet magazine, one of the ones that, you know, is like from four or five months ago, because that's when I get my subscription. If you haven't seen that video about magazine mishaps, I'll put it down below. Um, one of the little extras was a hook stand. So I was thinking about putting this one together and comparing what I think. They're both little wooden hook stands and um, see which one I like better. But we're not gonna do that right now. We are going to open the advent calendar. So it's a cute little gift tag. <gasps> Ooh, Lemon, my friend Lemon. It's purple. She loves purple. So this is Parma Violet. And there you go. Okay. And our little treat is... <gasps> no! I have always wanted one of these ever since Bella Coco started putting these in the Crochet Society boxes years ago. I have always wanted one of these. It's a keychain gauge. So this is for your hooks. Um, so you can see if your you know size rubs off or you just have a mystery hook, you don't know what size it is. Um, this is a gauge, but it's for your keychain. And she had a whole bunch of these. She had a different little square keychain things, which one of my magazines actually has, but it's cardboard. And I wanted one of the acrylic ones. So, um, cause you know, if my cardboard ones get wet, yeah. Um, so I'm so happy. Okay. Let's try it. This is a three and a half. So we find the three and a half, which is right there. I don't know if you can see because the glitter's kind of, yeah. That looks like a perfect fit to me. And if you put it in a 3.25, nope, won't slide. And the 3.75 is too big. So, perfect. Yay, I've always wanted one. Yay, that's exciting. So we got Parma Violet and the hook gauge. And we have the bottom right corner. <sighs> Woobles day eight. Day eight. Oh, here it is. yarn so we have a project I'm just gonna leave it on my lap <laughs> blue and white and a teensy tiny bit of yellow and 
and a little bit of white. And we have, what is this? Tiny Christmas ornament. So that's cute. I know I haven't made any of these yet. I still want to. I'm just, um, you know what I might do? 12 days of Christmas. I might do these for like 12 days of Christmas, all the tiny ones. Um, yeah, which starts on the 26th. So I might do that because I don't really have time to make anything right now. But um, yeah, I might do that. What do you guys think? 12 days of Christmas? I could do little shorts of me working on these and then showing the finished product. What do you guys think? Let me know. Build a bear. Day eight. Oh, cute. So our little polar bear friend has little green pajama shorts. Look, so cute. <laughs> and our pattern for Amagurumi Advent is... If you didn't see, Woodstock now dons a wonderful little Santa hat. <laughs> it's just pinned on his head. But isn't cute? I actually have stuff to talk about. Woo, yes, I know. <laughs> so, um, my friend who used to be a, um, a teacher in a foreign country has now back in the States. And she is a baker. And she made me, oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> she has not made these cookies in such a long time. And I love them so much. They are these cranberry cookies. Amazing. And they're soft and oh, kind of warm and sandy in your mouth. Just oh, so good. And then she also made me a chocolate subway. So yeah, they were just for me. It was so sweet. And um, there's no way she's going to watch this. So I'm going to tell you guys, um, for her Christmas gift, I discovered a free pattern on, um, I think it was Instagram. Yeah, I'll put it up here. It's a pattern for these adorable little bear macarons. So for my birthday, several years ago, several years ago, she made me macarons and they were these gorgeous lovely um light uh pumpkin spice flavored and um and they were so tiny they were like this big it was perfect for me because i'm not a sweets person but it was just ah oh, it was so cute and um and and she knows how much i love the cranberry cookie and then this year she made me the chocolate subway as well and i was like oh my gosh would that not be cute if i made little bear macaron like ornaments and I made them in the style of a pumpkin spice cranberry cookie and a chocolate sablé um or a chocolate macaron you know so that all the flavors were represented for the cookies she made me I think that would be really fun and this pattern looks really easy so whew, good easy and quick is what I'm here for right now um and I don't have to give it to her till after Christmas because she won't even be here. So I won't even see her till like the New Year's. So I've got plenty of time, which is good because time is something I need. <laughs> but I thought these were just adorable. So what do you guys think? Do you think it's a cute gift? I think it's a cute gift. Um, so that's something I'm doing. I also created a brand new pattern that's going to be an Instagram pattern. Yay! Yep. And that'll come out at some point. I guess you should follow me on Instagram because I may or may not announce it. And um, I got my Christmas shopping done yesterday. Yes. <laughs> yes, I got my Christmas shopping done yesterday. And um, I don't think I have anyone else I have to buy for. Except my dad. <laughs> um, I don't have 
hardly anything for him. So, I guess I could finish his pillow. I should probably do that. I should probably finish his pillow. It's for his back. It's a lumbar pillow. And I've made several for him. And um, he wants a new, a new size. So this is the size he picked. And it's going to go long ways. And um, yeah, so I'm going to, going to do that. I guess I could, I could work on that. Um, trying to think. So I have all my friends done. Yes. Okay. So there won't be a lot on um, today's video besides this. In fact, I almost released this as a separate video, but um, <laughs> it's an editing day, y'all. It's an editing day. I don't, I, I can't film really on an editing day. I mean, it's the middle of the night, but I can't film today. I have so much to get done before my crochet along because um, y'all need videos and I don't have all of them edited. So I can't even put out my announcement video before the videos are done. I wanted so badly for it to show up on the 10th and I just don't know if that's going to happen. <sighs> Cross your fingers and toes if you guys want these tutorials to come out before Christmas. <laughs> Then I need to really bust my tail today. So, um, yeah. And then tomorrow I have to take all my pictures. I've got my light box up. I've got to take my pictures for all my tutorials and all my videos. I have to um, get all my Christmas boxes out. I can't film that because a lot of you watch. <laughs> so I don't want you to see what you're getting. So um, I have to get those ready to mail probably Monday. Yeah, it's a lot. And then I have to make sure that this video, the vlog video, is ready to go by Sunday night. Dad just got a box and look at the mess it made. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a mess. My magazine came with an exclusive limited edition crochet hook that looks like a peppermint cane <gasps> and a stitch marker. This is so cool. This is the 100th uh, magazine for Crochet Now. So they've had a hundred issues. That's so cool.